Welcome back. Now this is fun. Look at this. Oh. That's my Cobra Mark III. Enjoying itself. Happily spinning. Wait a minute. That shit's green. Hell yeah. So, I was seeing some videos about it. About Elite Dangerous, uh, various different things, and I was wondering to myself, how have these people managed to change the colour of the HUD? And quick Google search, that shows you how to do it. As you can see, that's this is a little bit of saturation there on the um, on the uh, images there of the trade rank and all that stuff. My appalling rank. Uh, I haven't really, ooh, I haven't really played very very much to be fair um, so as you can see I've changed mine I've changed that god awful orange to green and pretty much kept the blue the same but there is a little bit of a blur it's like a saturation blur which I will change I will this is my first attempt at doing this but what I'm gonna do is show you how to do it it only affects your GUI. It doesn't affect the map, it doesn't affect anything else, but it does affect um, starport services. I love that. Look at that, that green and blue. looks great. So, I've gone for this sort of green. I wanted the blue because I wanted to retain the um, I wanted to retain the blue uh, shield. Um, that's what I wanted. So let's just go into shipyard. As you can see, everything is just green. There is a little bit of a sort of blur on the stuff that's going. The blue is still the same. The red... Can we see any red? No. Uh, I don't want to go into outfitting because it takes too long, but I'll just show this. As you can see, if you click up, if I move up to Galactic Average, uh, you can't change the colour. When that highlights, it switches to white, uh, which is what you would want it to do. I think that is one of the things. Uh, thankfully, these switch to black, which uh, is working. Um, so you just got to be careful on and test what it is, uh, what it is you're doing. So let's show you how to do it. Um, if I come out of this and I get back to the main menu, let's let that run through. Now, if I get back to here, that's what we want. Let's just get this on. So where you need to go uh, these here uh, are two I've done they're two both pretty much green these are the things you change essentially um, there are three matrices of colors you have red green and blue and each of these numbers indicates how much red is in it how much green is in it and how much blue is in what the game calls red this first one red is essentially the main color the main you know the lines of your HUD and all the rest of it and these two, it would seem to me, combined, are um, the accents of the other bits and bobs uh, with the shield and the icons and various other bits. Um, and I think one of them's probably that saturation, one of them's that hue type of colour. Um, now, where do you do this? Well, wherever you have Elite Dangerous installed, for me it's on this SSD here in Games, ED Launch. Now. products now if you play 64-bit elite dangerous it'll be in here you need to go elite dangerous 64 if you play 32-bit it's in here I think well anyway I went in here and changed this graphics configuration and it didn't do anything because this is for the 32-bit version um, so let's just go back and we're going to elite dangerous 64 so that is what you want Games, ED Launch, Products, Elite Dangerous 64, and the file you want is Graphics Configuration. First thing I did, right click Copy, and then paste it back in here, just so you have a copy of it in case anything goes wrong. Make sure you do that, it's just the right thing to do. If you haven't got Notepad++ installed, get it installed, it's a great little uh, text editor. I will open it or edit it with Notepad++. It's a normal XML file, got a load of stuff in it. Um, and pretty quickly, the GUI Color is just a little bit down, sort of on line 49. And 
and this is what you do you just change you literally just change these numbers you can change them to whatever you like it doesn't make any difference but let's change it to the other one that I had so at the minute I've got that in there if that's correct yep 49 1 2 23 so let's get rid of that and put in more green so I'll copy that and I will literally paste it back in you'll see those change different ones and because I'm a, a complete um, pedant I will do that as well make sure that's all good so when I save that in um, notepad plus it actually obviously saves the open file so that's fine so that has now changed in game um, do I need to launch it again don't know but I will I will kill off Elite Dangerous and I will relaunch it and we shall see that the color doth hath changed uh, but it will still be a green color because that's what this one is mm -mm. more soup that's staple of a growing British lad despite the fact that I'm nearly 40 so here we are get rid of that Shaders gone, computes gone. So it doesn't make change any any changes to the menu, anything like this. Would have been cool if it changed the colour of that ship. I'm sure you can go into that game config file and you can change a hell of a lot of stuff. Um, you probably don't want to because you probably break the game, but you can do. You can do. So let's just see how much. There should be more green. It should be greener. It is greener. The first one was slightly less green than that. I'm pretty certain. It, it was. I know it was. Uh, let's just look over here. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting though. That the my icons have dis. Oh no, they're there. That was weird. What the hell was that about? Anyway, they are there. Um, so, that's a different uh, different green. Believe me, it's not the same green as it was. Um, now, an interesting thing you can do, I'll tell you what we will do, let's just get back to the main menu. Come back out, I will show you where there's a great little um, tip online here that you can see. Uh, Arku HUD editor, this is what you want. Um, you can move these sliders and it will dynamically change what's going on and show you those different saturations of what's going on. You can have some pretty cool funky colors. Have a play with this, it's really really good. Uh, and once you've got what you want, you can very quickly copy that and then drop it into your um, game culture file, which we shall do, because I just want to see if you have to relaunch it from the beginning sort of thing. Uh, what's not blue enough? Let's make that more blue and less red. Uh, it's not really a cool blue. That's cooler, but not really blue. That'll do. I'm not going to keep this anyway, so I'll copy that. Again, I will go into the graphics config file, edit with notepad, scroll down a bit, it's only there. Drop it in. Tab for being a tab. Save that. Close that down and then let's go back into the game. And see if it will do it. I wonder if it will. I think it will and it didn't because I am an idiot so if we exit to desktop of course it's in the ED launch folder so let's launch it again let's close down even the launch program and let's Get the program back up. 
play. We changed the 64 bit. Yes, we did. It's in the same place. And then let us see the blue. Which it will be blue this time. Pretty certain. Anyway, I think it makes a huge difference, and I've wanted to know how to do it for ages. It's so simple, it's ridiculous. Um, just go in there and have a play, and use that web use that uh, web page. I'll put a link in the description for that anyway. Um, go there and do that. It's super super simple. You just find the ED Launch folder wherever it is on your machine. Go into products. Choose either the 64-bit or the 32-bit. The 32-bit ones, like the four. 4D, whatever, dev, whatever it is, um, and then change the game copy, copy it first, and then change change those game copy uh, matrix numbers from 0 to 1, and you will get, if this isn't blue, then who knows? It doesn't know. It's taking its time. And it's blue and pink. My god. Um, Let's just go into Star Port Services. I prefer the green there, you know, I, I really do. It, that looks a bit cleaner, to be fair. The commodities market. Oh, you see that? Still not great, is it? So, a little bit of uh, playing around is definitely going to help you out there. Um, go and have fun. Go and change your um, your HUD and uh, have a play and uh, get a bit of get, get a bit of enjoyment. Um, Nothing wrong with the orange, obviously, but if you can change it and you want it a different colour, change it. Bear in mind it's going to change certain things. So, um, a shield that is on now, as you can see there, is sort of pink uh, instead of being blue. Um, if you launch, yeah, you, you can see it's certain things are going to be a bit funky. I'm pretty certain that the ships on the scanner will be right. Landing gear. No, look, they're purple and pink and horrible. Look, so you're going to have to have a little play around because the yellow of a normal ship is no longer there. That is now, I think it's the, well actually the purple one, the pink ones on that are green because these people are friendly to me uh, yeah so you're just gonna have a little play around use that website and it will show you I think it does show you on the map what things will look like um, and I will redock at some point anyway go and have a play and at some point we'll be back and we'll put another video out on um, exploration but as you can see it doesn't change anything other than the GUI um, enjoy have fun Ta-ta.